Episode 411 is called If Not For Hope. I think that, that all the characters um, after episode 10 have kind of come to this, the low point. And to go on, to keep moving forward, if you didn't have any hope, you could easily stop. Brianna could give up. She's sent off to River Run to have a baby. If it's not for just to have a little bit of hope that her parents come back with, with Roger, that she can go on. And, and Roger has to have the hope that he's gonna get away. And uh, Jamie and Claire, they live on hope a lot. I, we've lived with a few of the unknown before. They hope that they can get their son-in-law back and keep their promises to their daughter. So it was one of those titles that kind of popped up at the end, you know? Right. Jocasta, she's been a little pissed off since uh, Jamie rejected her offer of inheriting River Run. She's like a little surly, like, oh, great, this is the daughter of that woman that I don't really love. And the daughter's just as opinionated and outspoken as her mom. I told Phaedra, I don't need a new dress. But at the same time, she's just so grateful to be able to have someone to be maternal towards that I love seeing the bond between her and Brianna. But there's comfort to be found in the company of others. She does give her some hard truths. You've a bear coming. Your time to be particular is long past. We love our actors, Lieutenant Wolf, and some of the others at the dinner party that Jocasta throws. And they're all like, oh, Brianna, this pretty young girl. And they're all vying for her attention. And when that door opens and John Gray walks in. May I present Lord John Gray. And he's just so handsome. I love the looks. Uh, we all, every time we see it in editing, we're like, what a great, because they all go, oh, no, he's here. Greetings, one and all. John Gray is, a, I think, a tragic character for me because the one thing he loves more than anything in the world is Jamie. And he can always be just so close. That's a tragedy to me. He just truly loves this one man, and he can't, he cannot touch him, he can't be near him. Jamie is one of the people I cherish most on this earth. The great friendship between Lord John and Brianna is his chance to have a little bit of both of them. And so you see in this episode the kind of beginning of that friendship. You're a good man. No. Good doesn't come into it. I uh, do have something for occasions such as these that I learned a long time ago on the subject of psychology. Matt came up with this great thing about psychology and playing this psychology game. What well, sounds intriguing. I didn't even know the word psychology existed back then, but the, we did the research and through the psychology game, she realizes that John's gay and that he loves Jamie, and no one faults him for that. We have a saying with Jamie is like, who does not love Jamie? And it really gives them this special bond that I think I've never seen anything like that on TV before, that kind of relationship and those kind of dynamics between Claire, the wife, the daughter, and the man who's in love with, with Jamie, who we're all in love with. So I think it's really cool, and then the psychology game was a great way for that to come out.